since the creation of man in the Garden of Eden, man's lifespan has drastically dropped. Sickness, disease and affliction have taken a toll on humanity. But what is the perfect will of God for mankind? It is God's perfect will that you be healed. It is God's perfect will that you be delivered. It is God's perfect will that you prosper. It is God's perfect will that you be in health. God's will also says that you prosper spiritually, you prosper mentally, you prosper emotionally, and you prosper psychologically. So God wants to give you a wholesome prosperity. Pastor John Anosike is sent of God to unlock divine truths and unveil mysteries on how to salvage the human body from corruption to pioneer the gospel of sonship and immortality, the glorification of the human body. It will amaze you. The first food not to eat is cold water. Cold water. When I mean cold water, I mean water that you have put in your fridge. Iced water cold water the water from your fridge do you know that some of you here as some of you watching right now you can actually drink normal temperature water because that irritates your test gland your body has been conditioned that you can't you will hardly enjoy normal temperature water how many of you drink cold water almost everybody that means you like to drink cold water. Maybe there are some of you who, who did not because of your health, of health conditions. Probably you haven't cold right now. Or you haven't flu. So you're trying to avoid cold water for the moment, right? But after the cold is gone and the flu is gone, you're back again, right? Come on, right? Okay, that's, let's establish that point. Cold water suffocates the efficiency of enzymes in the body thus rendering them inefficient to kill germs hidden and hidden bacteria in the food that you eat please understand that sometimes the food that we eat has germs Bacteria. The earlier you start correcting what you eat, the better your body will rejuvenate. Are you with me, somebody? Because even at the age of 20, if you're above 30, there is a sickness already in your body. I don't care who you are. If you eat the things I'm going to be listing out here, something is already wrong in your body. As it shows us pain sometimes and it backs off. It comes again as one thing and then it backs. It's something chronic developing because of the food you eat. It's a matter of one or two, three years it will show up. Because what you eat, the wrong things you eat are poisons. They are like you attacking the beams, the structure of beams that hold your house. My righteous one shall be delivered through knowledge he said because you have rejected knowledge I will reject you it is time to begin to detoxify to start afresh it will take a lot of pain a lot of discipline I rather go through that pain now I never go through the pain of chronic disease in my later time Yes, I already go through it. I'm giving you keys. Pay attention. 21 days of detoxification. One week, seven days of no food, but with water. And it must be water from the rocks. It's time to heal your antibodies. There's a lot of diseases in your body right now due to insufficient digestion.
Do you know that in your stomach are exams? Do you know? Yep. And these exams are there from your mouth. From it, these exams are in your saliva. Digestion begins from the mouth. And then down to the stomach. That's why, have you heard that coronavirus that goes to the stomach doesn't survive it? Yes. It's only those that pass through the, the nose and go through the channel of the lungs. The stomach is very hot. Because that heat in the stomach enables the enzymes to do their work. Imagine after food, you take a cold water. Yet the body wants to be hot. The, I mean, the stomach is created to be hot. There is a level of heat required for your stomach. Why put a cold water into the stomach? You are destabilizing the stomach. You are destabilizing your stomach from doing the work that it ought to do. Cold water suffocates the efficiency of exams in the stomach, in the body. Thus, rendering them inefficient to kill germs and hidden bacteria in the food that you consume. Please understand that the food we eat have germs, right? Think about it. Number two, cold water affects the heart rate. It affects the heart. Listen to this. Cold water affects the heart. Remember, the water goes through your chest. Think of the impact. Okay. When you put fat in, in the fridge, what happens to it? It congeals. It, 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 it blocks. Is that correct? But when you put the same fat on the heart, oven what is, it melts right do you know that one of the things that cause heart failure and the shooting of blood pressure is inefficient flow of blood through the vessels through the blood vessels because of undeserved fat 90 percent of undeserved fat in the body is what causes heart diseases. The heart is affected by low breaking of fats. Experts claim that chilled water, meaning cold water, from the fridge, and even cold beverages contract your blood vessels, thereby restricting digestion. It also hinders the natural process of absorbing nutrients during digestion. That means the day you started drinking cold water is the day you became deficient. Your whole organs we are starved. Your whole organs we are starved from efficient nutrients. You destabilize your entire system due to your cold water consumption. They won't teach you these things because they want to keep you as patients. It is time to live and not die. It is time to step into divine health. Thank you and God bless you.